Hello there guys, this video today will be a bit different in that it'll just be a brief chat really about what the route most match bettors take and whether they move on to high risk casino because I'll play a video towards the end of this of um, a thousand pound or something casino win I had, I've had bigger wins than that, this is the only one I recorded and I also explain why high risk casino didn't suit me but the typical route of a match better does differ a lot this is my Instagram by the way, at pitbets, I've got quite a few stories going out um, and if you're following me before the springtime I'm going to be doing a daily feed on Cheltenham videos in the mornings and also I might do that during Royal Ascot if I'm about then and I've also got the note here to take to your boss if you want to book time off for the most uh, profitable horse racing festivals these mainly consist of ITV race midweek races and that's why you'd have to book them off so this is how to optimize your betting plan and anticipate beforehand you will make more profit it's the wisest smartest move to do that rather than just grind it out all year because you're gonna need to take some time off don't take these day these uh, festival days off because they'll be jacked full of each way extra places uh, offers and all sorts it just make your life a whole lot easier um, so what do match betters usually do now I've um, posted a few videos before about two up horse racing and a few other tips like that if you're into horse racing by the way so match betters the, the usual route they'll take is they'll start they'll get gubbed and they'll stop right so that's the first option of match better then you've got the ones that start do their close family and friends and then they'll stop then there's the ones that start they'll do their family and friends after they're gubbed then they'll branch out from their family and friends and do it on mass like that so you've got a few different levels then you've got the other ones that take it to the extremes where they'll start doing um refer our friends schemes and stuff like that. i did do a lo load of uh, multi-accounting videos here you can actually find a multi-accounting playlist on my channel here so have a look there guys if you go into the search icon there and type in say multi accounting that give you some tips there but um as you say this is just done on the presumption that we're basing it off of one person's account right if you do value betting or something like that in my opinion right you're going to need balls of steel but this is closely related in my opinion to high risk casino because high risk casino is a value based strategy that mathematically works but it doesn't work for me and I'll explain why at the end of this video more of an addiction thing it's crazy how I can bet thousands and thousands of pounds and only chase losses every now and then but when it comes to high risk casino it's, just, ooh, it's not for me and I'll explain in a minute so you'll go through your typical normal match betting offers you'll do your low risk casino offers that are easy you know spin this amount and get 25 free spins all of that but high risk casino is a different game high risk casino is mathematically proven to win but you're going to need a big bankroll to do it that's why people usually do it towards the end of their match betting careers now i found a screenshot on one of my old websites here which is uh proves that value betting works this here it says it's from april 2015 to april 2016 and this was before two ups so bear that in mind so these stakes are placed three hundred and forty three thousand pound of bets on a bet 365 account this one this is what their statements used to look like and i got back three hundred and ninety thousand. so if i didn't lay anything in that period i would have won 47 grand from a value betting perspective now these were almost all horse racing ups on this account this account was groomed before it got hammered but battered silly like i've done mug bets on football and horses and stuff like that for a while on it and then went in like that i think it got put up to a few tiers because they've got a tier system when i used to have a tier system but it was doing crazy bets like this if you've done this nowadays you just get gubbed straight away i found this old website that i put up like a two thousand pound bet there these are all arbs 1,777 bet there, six. This was standard procedure, September 2015. This account lasted months like this. I don't know what their traders were doing. I think they were probably thinking, oh, you know, we'll just wait for this guy to lose and then, because they do have a form of discretion, the traders, 
Uh, Bet365 don't govern themselves, so use a third party company in London to do it. I know the company, but I'm not going to say it. I think a few people also know it is they regularly uh, have jobs going on Indeed. Um, so I just clicked through here just to show you the gist of the kind of bit. I used to do 999 and 777 like that because I couldn't be bothered to take my finger off the, the screen because when you're doing hot arbs, right, and they're going so fast, some of the prices, I don't want to take my finger up, my eye off of the vision of looking at the screen, so I used to just go bang, 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 like that. Some people back then used to say it was hot doing that, but doing that kind of thing. But anyway, um, so that was from a value betting based perspective. But my advice to you is if you're going to start doing value betting long term, then make the decision beforehand. Don't think, oh, well, I'm going to start value betting now after you've been laying a load of stuff because you have a ton of variance and you just don't want that to be happening. So this is where High Risk Casino comes into it. High Risk Casino is all about variance, right? Um, and I used to use this, Gary Hood's Auto Spinner. So I wouldn't be have to be sitting in front of the the spin. So you put it on like 100 spins, then go away and do, or um, maximum spins on there, go away and do some hoovering up, washing up and come back and see what's going on. If it hits on a bonus or something, Obviously, it'll pause, and then you have to go through that. Sometimes it's exciting. But I was finding with High Risk Casino, it was a bit addictive. I started playing High Risk. I started playing Casino sometimes when I was bored. And I know some of you guys would probably think, you absolute muppet, what an amateur. But I don't know. I just, I just had to stop in the end. So I was going through this cycle of doing High Risk Casino and going through the peaks and troughs of the variance and it because there's a terrible variance on it you know thousands and thousands of pounds you can be down till you've had a big win i've seen people post some monster wins like 40 grand wins and stuff like that i've won i think seven grand um and lots of thousands of pounds ones including this one that i actually uh recorded uh in a minute and this one, incidentally, was my favourite game, and that's why I recorded it, because um, it became my favourite game after that, because I just thought I love it, it was just giving me so much of a buzz. But I don't do High Risk Casino anymore, guys. Do any of you do it? I've got some tips for you if you do High Risk Casino. Don't look at the screen, put Gary Hood's Auto Spinner on, turn the sounds off, because all these sounds and noises and that, they're designed to encapsulate you looking at that and getting a buzz out of it and it's such an addiction when you when you get a bonus you know i've had every single recreation no recreational drug there is apart from heroin and there's no better buzz when when you hit a massive bonus i've got to say you know but i had to get out of it so i'm going to play the video in a minute guys but my main message of this video is value betting does work if you're gonna do value betting then choose it as early as you can in your match betting career because I keep saying, oh, I've been match betting 20 years, all this stuff. The only reason I keep saying that is not to sound like I know it all because I don't know it all. The reason I say it is that because I've been through all of the mistakes and everything like that. And if I could roll back the clock, right, I would not lay anything at all. Just see you later. Maybe some two up rules, something like that. But I wouldn't lay a thing. And um, but it takes some balls, especially with high risk casino. What's your thoughts on that, guys? Anyway, I'm going to play the um video here, lasts about four minutes. And if you have all of my messages, if you have problems with casino and that, just knock it on the head like I did because I was just playing it. Just, I don't know, that's what they're designed for, aren't they? Well, I've got no problems with other bits of gambling. I've posted videos before where I've chased losses and that. But that's because I've been a gambler since I was 15 years old. That's how I got into betting. I started working in the industry in my 20s and just grown up with betting, really, that kind of thing. But everyone is natural to chase, like especially when you make a mistake in match betting, which you didn't mean to happen. You and you can. It's no worse a feeling than you work five hours a day in your match betting and then you end up losing like 100 pound that day. It's a horrible feeling. And it's so tempting sometimes to just chase, so as you're not in that minus figure that day. But that weren't so much of an issue as it was for the high-risk casino. Anyway, here's the video, guys. Uh, please subscribe because 
I'll be putting out videos regular and also during Cheltenham in the mornings and maybe Royal Ascot if the morning Cheltenham one does well uh, because I've got a lot of horse racing experience with betting and anyway over and out